In this video, we're going to be discussing the second of the major superficial reflexes, and that is the cremasteric reflex. In a separate video, we discuss the anatomy of the dartos and cremaster muscles, and if you want information on that, go and watch that video on my channel. I'll put a link to that video in the description of this one. The cremasteric reflex assesses the integrity of nerve roots L1 and L2. And considering this is a reflex that operates through the spinal cord, it allows us to examine the integrity of both the sensory and motor components of the L1 and L2 nerve roots. To assess for the presence of the cremasteric reflex, the patient will be positioned in supine with their thighs slightly abducted in order to expose the testicles. The PT will then scrape the end of a reflex hammer down the anteromedial thigh and monitor for ipsilateral testicular movement, in particular, elevation of that testicle. So it'll look like this if it's present. So down the anteromedial thigh and we get ipsilateral testicular elevation. After the testicle elevates, it will also quickly descend back to its original position. The cremasteric reflex is considered present when the stimulus produces ipsilateral testicular elevation, and this is due to reflexive contraction of the ipsilateral cremaster muscle. The cremaster muscles normally contract when it's cold out in order to draw the testicles up closer to the body's core, where it's warmer, in order to provide the appropriate temperature for sperm cell production and maintenance. Now, a few notes here on the cremasteric reflex. Number one, a huge weakness of this is that it's very invasive. Obviously, you have to have a way to monitor the elevation of the patient's testicle. So they either have to be naked, uh, you have to palpate the testicle, or they have to be wearing very tight underpants and so that you can see the testicle being drawn up. In any case, it's extremely invasive, so most people are not going to elect to want to have this done to them. Another weakness is that even if you were willing to do this test, it's only going to be applicable in about 50% of the population because only males at birth are going to have testicles. There is an equivalent cremasteric reflex in females. However, considering that their genitalia are much less external than the testicles, that's going to be even more invasive than it would be here for this cremasteric reflex. And there are other ways to test the sensory and motor functions of the L1 and L2 nerve root levels. For example, if we want to look at the sensory functions, well, that's easy. We just look at the dermatomes for L1 and L2 and assess those. If we want to look at the motor component, the myotomes, well, we're going to assess hip flexion. Hip flexion myotome encompasses both L1 and L2. So, once again, the PT scrapes the end of a reflex hammer down the anteromedial thigh, and the cremasteric reflex is considered present when you get ipsilateral testicular elevation. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.